Today's sunshine note is titled, A Sad End to a Once Great King. The Philistines closed in on Saul and his sons, and they killed three of his sons, Jonathan, Abinadab, and Malkishua. The fighting grew very fierce around Saul, and the Philistine archers caught up with him and wounded him severely. Saul groaned to his armor bearer, Take your sword and kill me before these pagan Philistines. Come to run me through and taunt me and torture me. But his armor bearer was afraid and would not do it. So Saul took his own sword and fell on it. When his armor bearer realized that Saul was dead, he fell on his own sword and died beside the king. So Saul, his three sons, his armor bearer and his troops, all died together that same day. 1 Samuel chapter 31, verse 2-6 through six. I am not impressed with the fate of tall people in the Bible. It seems as if each one of them turns out to be some sort of wretch. Goliath was no prize, and now Saul ends up dead on his own sword. I am concerned about the tall people in the Bible, because I am 6 feet 6 inches and I don't want to turn out like any of them. The message in Saul's tragic story is not about the dangers of being tall. The message in this story is all about unrealized potential. When Saul was first anointed as king, he had all the potential in the world. He was mighty in war and in the beginning, he gave credit to God for all his victories. Through Samuel, King Saul brought the people of God back to the law of God, which they had been ignoring for decades. So what happened to Saul? He got comfortable with the gifts God had given him and relied on them instead on the giver of those gifts. Saul depended on himself and his wisdom. Saul became proud of the person God had chosen him to be. And when people become proud, they get so full of themselves that there is no room for God. Saul's story should serve as a sobering reminder to everyone who possesses to be a God follower. Remember, this walk with Christ is not a sprint, it is a marathon. Receive the good gifts and talents that Jesus gives you and then ask Him to be the Lord of all of them. Don't get so puffed up that there is no room for Jesus in your heart. The Philistines closed in on Saul and his sons, and they killed three of his sons, Jonathan, Abinadab, and Malkushia. The fighting grew very fierce around Saul, and the Philistine archers caught up with him and wounded him severely. Saul groaned to his armor bearer, Take your sword and kill me before these pagan Philistines. Come to run me through and taunt and torture me. But his armor bearer was afraid and would not do it. So Saul took his own sword and fell on it. When his armor bearer realized that Saul was dead, he fell on his own sword and died beside the king. So Saul, his three sons, his armor bearer, and his troops all died together that same day. 1 Samuel chapter 31 verses 2 through 6. May God bless you today.